Long time I ran. Well, the first video I had done, it disconnected. Then I did no one, but I accidentally didn't hit the start recording button. So now, um, we're kind of behind. So how I do it is there's the cheese sauce, um, a fourth cup of milk, and then an eighth cup of milk. Milk, not milk. Four shakes of pepper and five, I mean, ten shakes of salt. And right now I'm about to put in the tuna into the mix. I mix it up and then put it in there. Unlike some people who put it in there and then mix it up. So, sorry, I'm trying to wash my hands. I got tuna juice on it. So right now, let's just take my dryer kind of thing. We use chicken of the sea tuna. You can use whatever you want, but I, I like chicken of the sea tuna. Right now, um, We're about to, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. There goes the tuna. There you go. And uh, of course over here is the noodles. They're doing good. You can't see them because they don't have a pizza pan. I don't, I would do with this. I, I would love to have a pizza pan, but I don't have one. About and oh, my things come off of the stove. I can't breathe. I'm, I'm having an anxiety attack because no one wants to help me and I cannot deal with it. Oh, my shirt ties. There will be from uh, let's put my shirt for the base. And just so you know, if you haven't seen my dishwashing videos, which I did over uh, like a three part episode, I mean, three part thing of me washing the dishes. So, showing you how I do it. So, two things going to be how I do it, how I do things. Sometimes I'm not going to be able to do it because I won't have any ideas. But that's why I want you guys to comment down below in the comments of ideas for me to do for the things the way I do it. Ew, a little too watery. That's not good. And then I have to put flour in it. It does not sound good, but I have to. Flour. Yeah, it may not turn out good. I hope so. It does. It does. It does. It does. Oh, it's definitely going to work. A little bit more than I needed, but I can compromise. I can put one more if I have to, and that's it everywhere. Okay, so let's just put this in. Last time it was uh, disconnected, so I'm trying to, and I think it's because I stopped moving. So I'm going to try and start moving more. If that's not the case, if my stupid aiming at it, it's even got five boards, even got five bars, and that still did not work. So I don't hmm, put my flower, I guess. And it, oh! Nothing's wrong, it's just, I saw it and I remember that I'm sure, and have to ruin it more slow. Oh! It got on my floor. Nice, and now it's on my computer. you have to, and it get, if it gets really runny like this, kind of, then do put the flour. But if not, don't do anything with the flour, because don't put flour in it. Otherwise it won't be pretty, and this is done, almost. So I'm going to give it a few seconds more. On really high, I really exhausted. I've been up standing up for three hours. Three! Since six. Six, seven, well, two and a half. Okay, that should be good. I don't want to go to my Now, find my trainer. Where's the trainer? Where's my trainer? Okay. I never know. I'm supposed to put crap in my kitchen. 
mention is green. That's because I love green. So, so, so bad, like, green. Okay. So we got the noodles. This is what they look like. Oh, uh, oh, ooh, steam. This, this is why cooks look so good. They get the steam in their face. Now I did put some ch a little bit of the tuna juice from the can into the noodles. I have not tried that before. I hope it turns out good. This pan needs fixed. separate burner from the one you had on because it'll still be hot. Well, mine will be because mine's gas, but if you have electric, yeah. So, first things first, I almost forgot, you gotta put the butter. I don't use butter, I use margarine, but you need about this much, and you need to mix it in, and if it's still really enough, which I don't know if it will be or not, I'm not going to be at everybody's house, then just you put more in, and you really want to bury it in the middle. I'm sorry, you cannot see this. You want to bury it in the middle of it like this, like so, and cover it with noodles so it can melt while you mix up the sauce the rest of the way. Anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Never really mix it up. Oh, I did. It was just okay, so I already put salt and pepper, but I want to put a little bit more salt. Oh, that's pepper. That's pepper. A little bit more salt and pepper. And I put cinnamon in it, and what else do I want to put in it? Um, a bit of onion powder, so don't look at me weird. Okay, so it will be good. And if it's not, I'll still do this. Now, barbecue rub. Do not look at me weird. Well, uh, it's chicken and rib rub. And this is tuna, it's just kind of food fish. So let's just mix this up. Make it all the I haven't tried the onion powder in it or the rub, the rub for the chicken, but um, hopefully it's good. So this is what it looks like. Now it should be. Let's check on that. Then turn it back off and just turn it on to low, low, low for a like a minute to melt the butter into the noodles. Good. Let's try noodles. Noodles by themselves. Not so good. Cause it's not good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tiny bit of butter. And I'm going to mix it up. Try to mix it up. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. So we back over to the original burner. But you have it on, so you can't see both of this, all of this stuff. Um, so let's see what we got in here. You look, I might have to look at the bottom to get it smushed up and mixed around. Try and cut it up into tiny, tiny pieces with your whisk or fork, depending on what you're using. And then just mix it in and it'll melt, because the noodles are hot. Anyway, and I have a very bad headache right now. Sorry for all the confusion and delay, but it's really hard to do this without anybody helping you. Usually I have someone help me, but the people that usually help me don't want to be on camera, so... Yeah, I'm going to put a little more butter in there. That might be a weird mistake to me, to me but I like mine really creamy. Let's just turn this up. Take this off so it doesn't burn, burn, baby, burn. Nope, don't get you. Okay, the butter is officially smoking. Okay, now we go. I'm in a hurry because I think my mom's on. Pour all of this juicy, juicy cheese crap in this. Nope, there's some cheese powder in the crap. Good. And you 
take your whisk and wax it all up. That's kind of see here. Yeah. If you're mixing up my macaroni, tuna macaroni. So yeah, that's, that tip I told you about was that I don't put it this, all the powder and stuff directly in it. I mix it up separate first and then I, oops, that one before. Then I mix it. So, this is my stuff. Um, I'm just going to try it by right now so I can review it right now. I give this four stars. It would have been better, but it was in a hurry, so it's a little weird. Anyway, T Y L T T T. Bye.